Good afternoon. What's going on there, folks? It's the Earthmaster here back on this Thursday, February 16th, 2023 is the date uh, here. About 12.03 p.m. along the West Coast in California. And it uh, looks like we got some earthquake activity ramping up back into the Turkey area once again with the uh, seismic signature uh, popping up here on the uh, map. Seismograph station there in Turkey showing uh, a little bit larger of an earthquake. Not for sure exactly the uh, magnitude, but it is coming in currently as we speak. Um, I don't know if it's going to be that 5.0 or not. Just just came in. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got here for uh, some specifics of this uh, earthquake activity. Again, this one coming in, uh, 5.0 coming in about 16 minutes ago. Uh, 1947 UTC time. A uh, quick glance here at the seismograph. Yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, up here, 1947, 1948 for the UTC time here. So 5.0 showing up in Turkey. Uh, one of the larger aftershocks here over the last couple days. We have seen uh, quite a bit of movement continuing there in Turkey following uh, the earthquake activity here over a week ago now. Uh, the large earthquakes out there. Uh, USGS not picking up yet on that uh, earthquake that's just coming in, but uh, according to the EMSC model, that's going to be a 5.0. Uh, it looks potentially a little bit maybe larger than a 5.0, just uh, on an observation basis here on this graph. So we'll see how um, the USGS um, posts this. All right. Um, generally, uh, overall activity across the region has been on an uptick here today, including some movement uh, around the Croatia area, 4.8 coming in. Uh, earlier this morning, shaking things up a little bit out there uh, in the yellow category. Uh, not a big earthquake, but definitely uh, a sign of some increasing movement across the region. There's some of the uh, Did You Fill It reports out here. Mostly uh, looks like maybe moderate to uh, some strong shaking uh, from that uh, 4.8, relatively shallow at about 10 kilometers deep. Again, that one coming in earlier uh, this morning time frame for the uh, Croatia area. Also, Romania continuing to see some activity, although this one here from yesterday, I don't know if we had anything kick up overnight or not. Um, looks like most of this activity up into the uh, Romania area is going to be some older uh, quakes there from yesterday. Um, let's see what else we got here. A little bit of uptick in the 2 and 3 department over west of Turkey. Looks like that's going to be around the, uh, let's see exactly where that's at, Greece area. A couple twos and threes there, kicking off earlier this morning. And uh, let's see what else we got here across the EMSC model. Uh, some movement into the uh, Russia area, way up here. And also a uh, fairly new 4.7 into the eastern Afghanistan region today. All right, uh, looking at the rest of the USGS model here for the area, uh, a little bit more calmer across this region here of the Banda Sea and areas around the Philippines, although we did see, looks like a little aftershock. Well, I wouldn't say that's an aftershock because that, uh, that uh, six-pointer that struck was much further to the southeast here of Manila, the capital there. This earthquake this morning coming in, 5.0, just to the northwest of that area. A little bit of activity here into the Mariana Trench. Uh, yesterday, it looks like, 4.6 coming in, 128 kilometers deep. Uh, down here across the Vanuatu, Tonga Trench area. Let's see what we got coming in here. Uh, most of this, a lot of older movement here from yesterday. I do see some newer rings in there indicated by the lighter color. Of course, the redder color rings are going to indicate uh, some older movement quakes. But uh, a little bit of activity kicking off here this morning, including a 4.8 into the Tonga Trench, 203 kilometers deep here. And this other activity mentioned on the map here from yesterday, New Zealand, uh, let's go ahead and check out New Zealand real quick, see what's going on there. It's been relatively active, uh, I'd say, over the past couple days. See what it looks like here for uh, 
current movement. Go to the all magnitudes map here. A couple twos and some ones over the last couple hours. Uh, not seeing anything major taken off here over the last six or eight hours or so. Mostly twos and some smaller quakes across the uh, North Island, New Zealand area. So th things may be calming down slight there, slightly uh, in this area. Uh, quick glance at the volcano drums. Shows relatively calm conditions across the volcanoes. No major swarming going on. A little bit of activity here around the Kermadec Islands picking up that smaller quake. Uh, but overall, general seismic activity definitely on the decline here uh, over the last 24 hours in this region of New Zealand. The big island of Hawaii looks about uh, looks about typical movement out here, including a 2.4 Pahala area, southeastern edge of the big island. No major changes noted across the area of the volcanoes and the Alaska area. Uh, a little bit of cluster movement up here south of Denali, but overall seismic activity uh, generally basic there and uh, very typical for that area. Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. There's about, uh, well, looks like about eight earthquakes or so listed up here on the map. The largest one, a 1.9 coming in last night. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview and see what we have uh, to report for Yellowstone. Yeah, a little, little bit of activity here, some recent movement um, over the last few hours or so. Those are going to be in the red spikes, indicative on this graph right here. Some very small microquakes taking place. Uh, movement north of Ogden, Utah area, 3.2 coming in early this morning, about 1 o'clock. 7.3 kilometers deep. This area has been shown some seismic activity over the past uh, few months or so up against the mountain ranges. Kind of stretching down here as well. All right, west coast. Uh, Northern California, not a whole lot going on across the Cascadia. Uh, Pacific Northwest looks real, actually really quiet. Nothing going on up there. And the Bay Area, fairly quiet. As we look down south into Southern California area, uh, it seems as though, and it always takes place here, when things are kind of active up here north uh, in the Northern California and some of these fault systems, things tend to calm down here in Southern Cal. Uh, and that's, I think that's got to do with this Garlock Fault shear zone uh, applying pressure <coughs> basically north uh, or south. And today it looks like we're going south uh, for the um, movement of activity, including a little bit of swarming down here. Uh, hopefully I didn't speak this into existence, but uh, we're kind of chatting about how it's been relatively quiet down here around the Salton Sea. And uh, you know, I haven't really seen any major swarms now. This is not a major swarm, but uh, it is kind of kicking up here in the two and one magnitude department. Um, looks like mostly around four o'clock this morning had a few earthquakes popping off the Brawley Seismic Zone. Now that sits just to the south of the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. This is where the big one uh, one day will uh, wreak havoc out here in the southern part of the state. Uh, so I kind of pay attention to the swarms that tend to take place uh, in or potentially around it as well. I'm talking about the plate boundary. Uh, so we're looking at uh, a handful of earthquakes. Doesn't look like anything listed up here within the last hour for this region. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of noticeable increase along the San Jacinto fault zone and areas um, up north close to the uh, southern branch of the uh, San Andreas fault here. It looks like one on each side of that plate boundary. So we'll continue to watch that. A little bit of activity south of the border as well. Uh, Texas movement, uh, one earthquake outside of Abilene. 4.3 coming in. Uh, looks like about 2 o'clock in the morning. Somewhat of a larger quake out there. The community did you feel it responses here. Shows quite a bit near Snyder, Texas. Looks like uh, some light to moderate shaking being reported in the early morning hours uh, around this area. Now... Let me see what we got for the satellite view here. Let's see if we got any uh, uh, oil pumping operations out here. Kind of hard to tell sometimes. This is a relatively shallow earthquake 
uh, about 1.8 kilometer deep specifically nearby I'm I'm really not seeing anything um, although there's some questionable areas out here I'm not for sure what's uh, if these are some older pumping operations maybe uh, but there is some looks like some wastewater disposal wells over here to the west not far uh, from that earthquake we're talking just a, a few miles or so but uh, we'll continue to watch that and see if this uh, picks up in uh, intensity a little bit of activity across the Pecos Texas area yesterday as well the new Madrid seismic zone got one earthquake early this morning a 2.4 six kilometers deep this one's this area has been relatively active here I'd say over the past couple months uh, I, I know there's not a lot of earthquake activity, but um, for the new Madrid Seismic Zone, this is the last 30 days of earthquake activity. 26 earthquakes within the vicinity of that major seismically hazardous zone for many folks out there. Um, and this area can see some uh, damaging earthquakes. That's a fact. Uh, but it looks as though within the last... 30 days, the largest earthquake. Uh, let's see what we got here for the largest magnitude. Looks like it's going to be that 3.1 along with that uh, swarm of activity, specifically right across the New Madrid seismic zone. The rest of the country, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on further east. Uh, a little bit of activity we've seen kicking up last night around the Haiti area. This earthquake coming in um, just after or just before 11 o'clock my time 5.4 14 kilometers deep as far as movement today goes most of the activity confined here in the swarming area around the uh, southwestern edge of puerto rico off the coast here of the el salvador and the guatemala region seeing some activity yesterday and today the most recent one a 5.1 10 kilometers deep uh, notice that activity yesterday a little bit deeper about 50 kilometers deep some subsequent adjustment going on upstream uh, along that area of the middle america trench south america area uh, what do we got here all this activity from yesterday so let me just let me verify it uh looks like maybe we had a 3.1 or so newer earthquake this morning but yes most of that activity there from yesterday and the atlantic ocean did see a 5.3 overnight uh, what is that in the California up there? 2.5. Where was that? I want to see exactly where that's at. 2.5 and above. Okay, that looks like it's over around the uh, Clear Lake Volcanic Fields. That's going to be the... Uh, oh, there's a lot kicking up there today. That's going to be the uh, the Calpine Hydrothermal Operations out there. Um, you know, any satellite picture will definitely show you what's going on out here. There's a couple different facilities in the operation. They create... Uh, energy and um well they create I'm not, I'm not for sure exactly the whole process i still have yet to see it in operation but um they inject raw sewage below uh, into the heated surface below to create some type of dry steam which in turn um creates energy and they use that energy to power homes across uh, a good portion of the uh, northern bay area check it out calpine uh, hydrothermal solutions there all right uh, let's see what else do we have out here okay so the, I told you a little bit I knew it was gonna be a little bit bigger uh, we did mention about that signature showing up on the turkey station which is eh, let's see if we still got it just barely uh, originally coming in as a 5.0 but it looked a little bit bigger and sure enough it was uh, they raised it up to a 5.2 from the USGS here just coming in uh, within the last hour a little bit of migration here working its way south but uh yeah 5.2 let me see what we got here last seven days of activity let's see what we got across this area i believe that's going to be our largest aftershock uh in the last week yes it is 5.2 one of the, the largest ones not the largest uh, we've definitely seen um, some larger aftershocks following that 7.8 there in Turkey on the uh, 5th of February. 
the largest so far sits as a i don't even know if i want to count that 7.5 as an aftershock i believe these are two separate earthquakes but uh, related to one another because of their proximity across the plate boundaries here. I believe that 7.5 was triggered um, by the strain that builds up here. Uh, you know, there's obviously the strain built up to create an earthquake, but at the same time, when you do have an earthquake, that adjusts uh, some further momentum and strain in other areas around the plate boundary or local faults. And I believe that triggered the, uh, uh, with the general plate movement up here, to the north northeast uh, that 7.8 triggered that 7.5 hours later uh, and so following that we had 6.7 and a couple of sixes in there as well uh, but today's 5.2 there's quite a few fives in there uh, but it's definitely the largest one that we've seen uh, in the last week I'll continue to watch that all right let's see what else do we have here um i think that's about it uh like i say not a whole lot happening around new zealand today uh curl kamchaka trench is the other quiet zone uh, let's see what we got for space weather activity here haven't even looked at this yet this morning looks like uh they're still forecasting a g2 class storm around the 18th utc time here we'll cover that a little bit later tonight in more detail um that'll be in a couple days obviously uh current solar flare threat 99 percent chance for a c flare m flare sits at 45 and x flare at 10 percent and um <clears throat> not for certain i see the x flare potential out there for 10 percent uh, because a lot of these um, sunspots have just dwindled away Uh, they're massive, but we're we're missing the the complex instability here with uh, the different structures of the magnetic field areas in the sunspot, and they're just not there. Uh, including this one up here, it looks like it's just degrading. Uh, newer sunspot around the bend looks potentially promising, at least from this view. We'll get a better angle at it here in the uh, coming days. Um, but for now. Some uh, unsettled conditions there at the higher latitudes with uh, off and on expected geomagnetic storming here over the next couple days until we reach into the G2 storming category, which is a little bit stronger. We could see those auroras uh, pot potentially <laughs> drop down into the uh, some of the northern tier states. So we'll watch that and, of course, report back on that as we get closer to that uh, expected storming date for now. Have a good one, folks. I'm going to jump off here and uh, enjoy this absolutely beautiful day. Sunshine, 52 degrees outside here in Northern California. Uh, not expecting any rain yet. Um, most of the rain looks like it's going to hold off towards the, uh, the end of February. But uh, at least we're getting some more uh, in the forecast. We definitely need some more. All right, folks, stay safe out there. Have a good day. We will catch you guys a little bit later on tonight. Have a good one.